Many people complain that the PS Vita is lacking in a variety of genres and game types, but one area where it certainly is not lacking is RPGs, the latest of which to hit the Vita is Sword Art Online Lost Song. Lost Song veers away from the slower combat of his predecessor, Hollow Fragment, and instead offers more traditional action RPG style fighting, which was a good choice as the gameplay of Lost Song is pretty good. You can use light and heavy attacks to weaken foes, in addition to super attacks, which require magic, but are very satisfying to use. The control scheme is solid enough, especially considering that the back touchpad is not used. The only problem with it though, is that you have to get out of combat mode in order to use items, which is a little cumbersome when fighting giant monsters. Flying, however, is definitely one of the best features of the game, as it feels very smooth, and switching between walking, hovering and flight is easy. Simply just cruising around the many worlds of Lost Song and taking in all the scenery is absolutely excellent. Unfortunately, while the general combat is solid, the crippling issue of Lost Song is that it is very, very repetitive. Most of the fighting takes place in caves that look completely identical to one another, and the objectives are almost always the same. Find the levers and keys to unlock doors, so then you can find more levers and more keys to unlock more doors. This cycle eventually breaks when you fight a boss, but the problem is that 90% of the game is just running through what is basically the same cave, completing the same task on repeat. Granted, there are definitely some positives to the missions, such as the variety of enemies, in addition to the epic boss fights that are among the most impressive on the Vita, but the amount of filler caves and fetch quests means that the game feels like a grind way too quickly. If Sword Art Online had a solid story, then the tedious missions would not be so bad but unfortunately, the story is not exactly great. Thankfully though, the game does manage to explain the universe of Sword Art Online to newcomers in a way which is easy to understand, so you won't feel too lost as a beginner. The whole concept of a game within a game works, and it is interesting to see characters approach the MMO style world as gamers would do in real life. However, the problem lies in the fact that there are far too many characters introduced far too quickly, and most of them are not given enough screen time, so it becomes very hard to be invested in almost all of them. Additionally, a lot of the dialogue is just trivial teen drama that is uninteresting, so expect to skip a lot of it, unless you are a true super fan of the Sword Art Online series. Nonetheless, one advantage of having so many characters is that Lost Song has a slew of playable characters, in addition to the ability to make your own character, which is pretty cool, as you can use this person in addition to the other characters throughout most of the missions in the game. Additionally, the variety of weapons as well as the ability to enhance each weapon adds much needed variety to the game. Lost Song is also the first game in the series which has multiplayer, which is weird considering that the series is called Sword Art Online. Nevertheless, you can do quests together and even fight amongst each other, which is pretty fun even if there is minimal strategy or teamwork on display. The game runs very well and the load times are pretty bearable. A word of caution though, you'll need to spend a lot of time in a single player mode to stand a chance as almost everyone online is pushing level 1000. Visually, Lost Song looks stunning on the PS Vita. The vast vistas and detailed characters combine to create something truly special. The unique enemy designs look very impressive, meanwhile some of the bosses look absolutely spectacular. Most of the story is told through text, so if you're not a fan of reading, then this is not the game for you. Thankfully though, the English translations are top notch, unlike Hollow Fragments. The game does occasionally use full animation which looks unreal, but it is too few and far between which is a huge shame as those animations look absolutely amazing. On a side note, the game even allows you to play custom music. Overall, Lost Song is a pretty solid outing which plays it safe. For fans of the anime series and the genre, there are a ton of quests and side missions to sink your teeth into. The visuals, the music and the combat combine to form a solid action RPG with a lot of potential, but unfortunately, potential and reality are two different things, and in Lost Song's case, the difference between those two things is good level design and interesting missions, and if it had those two key ingredients, it would have been awesome. Nevertheless, Lost Song is still a good game that earns a B grade.
For more PS4 reviews, PS Vita reviews, remote play reviews, and everything else gaming, make sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.